Hi, it's Tech Enthusiast, and let me introduce you to Tala, an all-in-one screen recording and editing tool. With Tala, you can easily create videos with a talking head on one side and your screen share on the other, and it also offers AI-generated subtitles to enhance your content. And that's not me, by the way, it's just a sample footage. With Tala, you can customize the layout, offering various options for the talking head and screen sharing, making it perfect for product demos, tutorials, online courses, and presentations, all without the need to install any recording or editing software. Tala offers a free 7-day trial and if you are interested in leveling up your videos, you can take a look at personal account because of the added benefits such as unlimited videos, 4K export and as I mentioned before, AI generated subtitles. The link to Tala for sign up will be in the video description below. Feel free to check it out and give it a try. Now with all that said, let's take a look how to actually record and edit the video with Tala. First, make sure that you signed in with your Tala account and then on the first page or the welcome page, you will see the screen which looks something like this. Now, the first way of recording a video with Tala is by going on the top left and clicking on this new video button. Here, you will see three options. The first one here is for the microphone and here you will basically pick your preferred microphone for the recording. Here next to it, you will see start a camera and right next to it, you will see share screen option. Now, if you click on it, you will have here three options. First one, if you have more screens, you will have here a screen one and screen two. Then you have also an option to share a window or even single Chrome tab. Now here I will pick screen and then I will click on share here. And now we have here four options. Now the first one is called quick. So this will quickly record a video and you will be able to share it straight away. Then we have multi here. So you will record multiple clips in a row. You can also select a video which you recorded previously or you can even upload your own video to Tala but make sure that it's in MP4 format. Now once this is pretty much done, you will then select here quick or whichever option you prefer and click on this record button. Now down below, you can also here segment the video by new clips. So if you, for example, selected here multi, you will record one clip, then second one, third one, or how many you prefer for that video which you are creating. And that's basically the first option how to record video with Tala. The second option to record your screen with Tala is by going here on the three dots on this menu. And here down below, you will have an option called install Chrome extension. Now, if you click on it, you will see this website called Chrome Web Store. And here you will be able to add this extension to your Chrome web browser or any Chrome based browser which you are using. Now, once you've done that, you will see this icon here on the top right in the menu bar and make sure that you pin this extension called Tela in your menu bar so you will be able to see it here on the top right. Now, once you have this extension, you will then click on it and then here you have an option down below to start a camera. Down below, you also have a microphone to pick and you also have here to share the screen. So basically full screen, window and the current tab. So for example, if I select here full screen, we can select here screen number one, click on share. And now you can also see here the preview. And here you also have a quick video or multi video if you want to record clips in a row. And on the top right, you also have these three dots. You can go to your Tala library. So the library where you can see all of your recorded videos. Then you also can go to your account live chat support, product feedback, and also knowledge base. Now, once you are happy with your recording settings, you will just press on this red button and the recording with Tala should start. The third way to record a video with Tala would be by going here on the three dots as same as before. And now you have here an option called install a Mac app. Now, if you click on it, you will be redirected to this link, tala.tv slash Mac. And now you can download this application for the Mac OS and once you have it you will install it and here it is how it actually looks like now down below you have your microphone settings then you also have a camera settings your screen share settings so here you can select area so if you want to record area of your screen you can also select here to share your screen or even the window for example Google Chrome now if you click on this settings icon here you have here quality preferences for example for the screen you can go from 4k to 720 then you 
also have here show cursor option, record computer audio, and for the camera, you also have here a very high settings to the 360p. And for the camera, you can also rotate it from portrait to landscape. For the general, you have here speaker notes. If you have any, you can write them there. Once this is done and you are happy with your settings, you will basically press on this red button and the recording should start. And now let me show you how to edit the video with Tela. So once on the welcome screen of Tela.tv, you will go here to all of your videos. And now you will select a video which you would like to edit. In my example, I will click on the first one. And then here on the right, you have many options to pick from. The first one is called edit. Now, if you click on it, you will see even more options to edit your video with. The first one is called trim. If you click on trim, you will see the timeline change its look. And now let's say this is the part of the video which I don't like. So from here to let's say something like here. Now click on split here. And then you can also move this player cursor to somewhere here and then you will once again click on split and now this is the part which I'm going to cut out click on it and then you will select here delete and now you can see that you cannot anymore select this part of the video so if I play it back so, like so you will see that then this uh, player indicators moved straight from here to this clip right here if you want to reverse this you can just drag this back where it was before and now you have the whole clip once again if you want to create a a zoom let's say somewhere like here you will click on add a zoom here or on the right here and then you can select here the scale let's say i will put this one to 160 and here you can also change the speed from slow to medium to fast i will click on fast and you can also see here or change here the zooming transition animation so i will put it somewhere like so so this will be a very fast zoom animation and let's take a look how it actually screen. looks like you will have here screen one and screen very two. very simple and then, then you will it will go back to the normal or the first position now let's move on to the layout now for the video you have here one single clip you can create a layout so you have here wide option. If you click on the left option here, you will see the full screen. You also have this option to have a borders around the screen recording. Then if you have portrait video for TikTok or YouTube shorts, for example, you have even here the portrait option as well. And then you also have here square option. Now for the background, you can upload your own image. You have images from Unsplash, from Tala, or even from the Mac OS. You also have here animated images. So for example, if I click on this one, you can see that the image should animate in the background. And then you also have here the colors like radiance or solid colors as well. The border is also quite straightforward as well. You have here the rounded option. So right now you can see that the corners are rounded around my screen recording. Then you also have here the style for the border around the screen recording. So currently set to none, but you can select here this one, which will drop shadow. You also have here this border which is semi-transparent this one which is black and this one as well with just a different angle i will pick this one because i think this one looks the best at the bottom you have an option to apply to all clips so if you have multiple clips here down below you can also apply these settings to all of your clips now moving on to the mirror so if you want you can also mirror your camera but currently i don't have talking head so i will show you this later in the video and here you can also crop the video inside this border so let's say if you don't want to see the macOS menu bar and the dock as well you can move it like so once you are happy with the result or if you want to add more clips you can click here a clip click here on the select a clip and then pick whichever clip you would like to add then you can also edit it next to this first clip now once you are happy with the result you will click here on the finish as i mentioned in the intro of the video tala also support ai generated subtitles so here if you go here to edit the subtitles if you for example see something which isn't correct you can then go here to select the word change it to the correct word and press on the mark here then if you move on here to the settings you can also download dot srt file separately copy all of your subtitles to the clipboard and you can also here have uh, to show the subtitles when you play it inside the 
Voila. And that's pretty much it how to edit the video of your screen recording. And now let me show you how to edit the video with the talking head. Here on the bottom, you have this input field. And this is basically how you can name your videos. We already went through how to trim the video. We already went through how to zoom in the video. Here on the intro, if you click on this, you can here uh, see that you can change the layout or the size of the presenter. Now, if I move on to the next part of this video, you can also see that we can also move the presentation in this case, wherever we like to the screen. So if you want to change the layout manually, you can also do this by just moving it somewhere on your screen. The most important part here is the layout, of course. Now here we have white portrait or square layouts. So this is the first layout, which looks like this. Then this is the second one where the, you have the presenter on top of the actual screen recording. So there are many of the layouts layouts how you would like your presenter to look while presenting in this case presentation now you can also have here camera only options so if you want to have the presenter on the middle of the screen you can also do that as well here we also have the similar options for the portrait if you are recording or editing a video for the tiktoks youtube shorts or instagram reels you also have many of the options here as well you can also mirror the presenter let me make this presenter a bit bigger let's say if you don't like the angle how you basically look under a certain angle you can then just use this mirror option now let's say you are happy with the video you can click on the finish on the bottom right and now to export the video in tela.tv you will click on the download button on the right menu and here you can download .srt file for the subtitle separately then i highly suggest to you guys that you select here 4k resolution but this option will only be available if you have a personal account then you can also select here clips are exported as individual files so if you want to have let's say intro part of the video and let's say the lesson part of the video in two separate files then you can also check this option as well you can also have subtitles burned in inside the video now once you are happy with all these options selected then you will click on start the export tala will basically prepare your download and then you will have your or mp4 file on your local drive all right this is pretty much it for the video thank you for watching and thanks to tala for sponsoring this video link to tala will be in the video description below go ahead sign up and give it a try thank you again for watching if you haven't already drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel have an amazing rest of your day and i see you all in the next one peace